The project today is going to be installing this uh, weather station in the orchard. And the reason why I want to have a weather station is because I want to measure the rainfall throughout the year, uh, month uh, by month, especially in summer when it gets pretty dry, just to have an idea how much water I'm getting into the soil. This weather station is the Davis Vantage Pro. It's probably one of the best. Uh, it's professional grade. Um, it's not cheap, it costs $1,600, but you can get them used uh, fairly inexpensive. I pay for this one around $300. So this weather station comes with a um, wind direction sensor, wind speed sensor, and then this solar unit, which is the sender, actually comes with the, uh, the rain collector and the, um, the sensor inside. And down here is the temperature sensor and humidity sensor. And one of the cool things of getting a professional uh, weather station like this one is that you can buy any component uh, from their website at any time. So if any of this sensor gets damaged, you just can buy one and replace it. I also like the fact that the uh, rain catcher, it comes with this spike so birds don't nest on top. It also has a small filter just to filter leaves and just let water pass through. And what is pretty cool is the way the, uh, this sensor works. So here you can see this device which catches the water and just any time it tilts one side or another is measuring I believe is one inch of rain. And over here the, uh, I have the uh, controller which is uh, this unit which is collecting all the data and this is a data logger which is uh, inside. So once a week when I come here, I can just connect my laptop and download all the data, or I can see it also on the screen. And what I'm gonna be using as post is a four x four, which is gonna be on the ground and a chain link galvanized uh, post. And uh, with that configuration, the wind speed sensor and direction will be approximately 12 feet high. So let's go drilling. The tractor is not ready yet for work, but I guess we can drill a hole. That shouldn't be an issue. All right, let's do a cold start of a 25 years old tractor. Neutral, let's go. Unbeatable. What a fine machine. First time using the power steering, the new seat. This is a Cadillac. PTO. And let's drill, baby. It's pretty moist, so it shouldn't get stuck. Good. Next, I'm going to put the uh, chain link post onto like this. So I have some hardware. To do so. So I already pre-drilled three holes. So my goal is just attach this this way. Oh, then it came up pretty solid. Yeah. So I think it's gonna work really well. So yeah, let's do a dry fit and see how it looks. Oh wow, this is pretty tall. God damn. Oh yeah, pretty good height. Pretty good height. 
and the coin do it seems to be straight perfect let's get it out and mount the um, weather station just want to bring this up on the truck so it's going to be a little bit easier to work perfect good deal all right let's put the uh, rain sensor and temperature sensor in pretty much i would say right there I'll tight it just by hand a little bit because then i have to orient the uh, the uh, sensor the uh, solar sensor south I'm going to leave these sensors also hand tight because uh, I will have to calibrate them pointing to north. So until I have the uh, the post on the ground, I'm not going to tie this up. So the solar panel is going to be pointing south and the, uh, the wind direction need to be pointed north to be calibrated. So they're going to be opposite like this and then I can do the fine adjustment when the post is on the ground but yeah what the uh, manual says is that this uh, little boom need to be pointing north so since I'm going to be running the cable inside the pipe I'm going to cut a notch so when I put this cap on the pipe I don't pinch the cable so I'm going to do the, the cut in the back. How do I do this? So this is how the notch looks like. So when I put the cap, there is some space for the cable to come out through that hole. A little bit of filing to remove sharp edges. I'm gonna pass the cable inside the uh, the pipe, and then I'm gonna use a plastic uh, rubber grommet. So when the cable is inside the uh, the notch, it's not gonna be cut. But for now, I'm just gonna pass it like that. Because even though I have a Re remove the edges on on the cut in the pipe still i don't want the cable uh, be rubbing against metal so right now the cable is coming from inside or well, getting inside the pipe without any protection so i need to get a rubber grommet so the cable actually is protected from the metal still a little bit rough Next, I'm going to connect the uh, wind sensor inside the controller. A small piece of rubber here. And I'm going to remove so I can pass the connector. This goes into wind right there. I'm tucking the cable, put the little piece of rubber back and close. So I have bundled the rest of the cable like this and I'm going to push it inside the pipe. And uh, there is enough friction for the cable just to stay inside. So this is how it looks, and so far, pretty clean, in my opinion. All right, time to put the post on the ground.
with the wind spin sensor facing north. We do fine adjustment later. This is gonna look pretty cool. Look at that hook right there. Chicken eater. I see who you are. Let's see how straight I can get the post. straight and compact a little bit the hole all right the next thing I have to do is make sure that the wind speed sensor is pointing north which is right there so uh, I have to turn it a little bit okay I'm gonna put the uh, compass North is right there. So the moon is a straight north. I'm going to loosen up these bolts and turn the pipe a little bit. I'm gonna check the level in the rain sensor and see if it's uh, horizontal. Yeah, pretty straight. Boom, finished. I'm gonna put batteries in the controller for the display, which this is actually a true battery hog. This is the data logger. Good. Congratulations. And thanks for choosing Davies. Very good. Now it has to find the uh, station. So since I don't live here yet, uh, the only way to uh, keep all the data in the data logger is just leaving the unit here next to the uh, weather station. So that's why I have the controller inside the uh, weatherproof box and I'm just going to leave it over here. So once a week I can come and check the uh, data and download it into my laptop. So this is it. The weather station is set up and this week is going to be raining quite a lot. So next week I'm going to check the controller and see what type of reading I'm getting. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. And here it is, weather station detected and reading sensor.